So today we are out in the east, the far east of the IMAG and we want to walk out. To, there's a kind of a new settlement farther out. We're not going to get all the way out there, but we just want to get a little close to see how the people are chilling out there, living. I just spit. Ew. <laughs> there's also a factory behind us. You can see. There is. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see that when we passed. <laughs> and there's also like this thing for the pilots or whatever to stand on to see when the airplanes come in or something. I don't fucking know what it's for. And there's also, if you can see in the far distance, <laughs> the that horse. little dot, there's a little boy trying to get his horse out of a ditch. So I'm gonna climb up here and we're gonna take a selfie. Tippy top, we made it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, we're really at the bottom because Sukbather is the flattest part, one of the flattest parts of all of Mongolia. And I'm wondering right now if you can even hear me because it's so freaking windy. abandoned it looks as though it was from the uh, Soviet era because Mongolia was under Soviet rule about 20 or so years ago 30 years ago and so we're gonna go see if we could maybe sneak on the premises or something see how close we can so we made it to the factory and it looks like it's being occupied because there's a gear with smoke coming out which tells us there's someone living on the premises, which legit would be a sick place to live, like no lie. But from the looks of that construction to the building here, you can tell it's definitely Russian. Yeah. So we're walking up to this, what looks like a well, and we find a carcass of an animal that looks like it died during the winter of 2000. 16 there's a few carcasses actually so we decided to walk the perimeter and everything looks decrepit um, as I suspected the building over here is type Russian because the little designs that they have on the side of the building is only a Russian design from like the 70s maybe earlier but yeah, we got a closer look at the gear, and there are a couple people in there chilling. So as we're walking, we found something that looks like a storefront. It's like totally, totally abandoned. It looks like it's been hit and run by a zombie apocalypse, as Hadaya says. Let's take a closer look inside really quickly. Too much glass. I want to see if their fire extinguishers work. So we're making our way downtown, walking fast. The AC is fast, and I'm homebound. So we are literally walking home right now, and we're passing a bunch of hashas with open dirt lawns. And if you look at the Sorry, there was a car passing. If you look at the fences themselves, a lot of the fences or hashas in Mongolian, they have these designs or some type of designs on them like this. And if you look at the newer houses, they have metal fences like we would in America. Some people have picket fences though, which are also wooden, but a lot of them are now modernized, I guess, and metal. If you look at this house in front of us, it looks fancy as shit. It looks like something out of GTA, the Mongolian version. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like the differences 
on the side of town. From houses with gears in them to houses with fences, metal fences around them. Two worlds, one place. If you look here, these are what we call shagai bones or ankle bones from a goat or a sheep. And usually they play games with these pieces. They you represent a camel, a horse, a goat, and a cow maybe? I don't know. Four animals. It's four animals for each ankle bone, which is why each one has a different design on them. That's or the face. The camel has way. the hump, I know that. Yeah, there's a camel. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> I don't know if they're correct, but we're failing right now. But yeah, this is Shagai bones. So we're walking to get something to eat and we see all these people in front of the government building. Looks like some sort of press conference or something. Thanks for the photo bomb. But we thought we'd put this little clip in so you could see what it looks like for business people in Mongolia or government officials. So, we're in one of our favorite restaurants, Hadaya, eating, eating a new meal we've never had before. What is it called? Chinju Makte Right, and this is the restaurant. It looks like Tenen. heaven, doesn't it? <laughs> That's Sutaten. And this Milky. is mine. We are waiting on our nagote soyen, which is a noodle vegetable thing you'll see soon. So this is soyen. It's nagote soyen, so it's vegetable noodles. And we always order this because it's the best in town. <laughs> Mongolians usually eat this with more meat, less vegetables. Mm -hmm. That's not how we roll. Mm -hmm.